guys, we're going to look at transformations of cubics. Notice that your calculator will be a pretty helpful tool just to kind of see what's going on. f of x equals x to the power of 3 would be the parent function of a cubic function, correct? So when you graph it, it's going to look like this somehow, okay? If you make a table of values, x, y, and let's say x is 1, 1 to the power of 3 is still 1, 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. So happens, they give us a point, and they say 2,8 right here is to be translated based on this rule. Okay, so here's your little buddy that tells you what to do. Now you have to decide what's, what's going to change and how will whatever is stated affect what's going on. Let's agree to use purple for all horizontal changes. So whatever partners up closely with x will affect a horizontal change. Horizontal changes help or affect the x, um, the x value. So the number 2 will now be somehow affected by what's going on. x minus 4 in parentheses, you do the opposite of what it looks like. So you do plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. All right, so your x value 2 will, after all this happens, become a 6. Let's agree to use green for the vertical changes. One half. That is a vertical compression. Why? Because a is less than 1, but greater than 0. So that's a compression, and we're going to do y times 1 half. Why is it? The case because your compression affects your y value. So x, um, y is 8, 8 times 1 half is 4, and now the other vertical change, which is a shift up, happens as well, plus 1. So 8 times 1 half plus 1 is 5. Boom. So look at it right there, your y value is now 5. So what does that actually mean? It means that your initial point, 2,8, will transition to show this guy. Let's look at a different example, number 2. We will once again use purple for all horizontal things. Whatever partners up closely with x is a horizontal change. Horizontal changes affect the x value. How? Do the opposite of what it looks like. So minus 6. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Boom. My x value changes to negative 4. Now, using green, I'm going to look at my vertical adjustments. And you may wonder, what should I do first? The 3 or the negative 4? Well, it's like PEMDAS. So multiplication does go before you do addition or subtraction. So your y value is affected. You're going to multiply it by 3. So that's 24. And then you'll subtract the 4. 20 is your new y value. And yes, you can state it just like that. 2 comma 8. So happens is now at negative 420. Boom. Last example before it's your turn. We are, by the way, using the same point over and over again, 2, 8. Now, back to our horizontal, the purple. Whatever is really close to the x is what's going to be affected by the x change. Now, plus 1. We do the opposite of what's happening. And 2 plus 1 is 3. I have my new x value. All right? Now, let's look at, using green, our vertical situation. Uh-oh, we have a negative, guys. We have a negative. We're going to have to multiply by a negative number then. Okay? So, what is being multiplied by negative 2? 8, you got it. The y value times negative 2. Okay, that's negative 16 plus 5 because we were doing, you know, plus 5 units up, which was a vertical shift up. And you end up with negative 11. Boom. Hopefully, that makes sense. And we're now ready for additional examples. The point 2, 8, OK? 
connected to this body here. Let's look at examples so that you can practice. You will still be considering points that are on the parent function. So do remember the parent function is going to go through the origin and behave in this particular way. Now, when you see a negative, what's going to happen? Like in example number two. Oh yeah, somehow it would not, it would flip this the other way around if it's negative, and then it's going to move it somehow in the plane. And that is what we're after, one point at a time. So let's investigate. You can pause the video and do it yourself. Apply the very same strategies to know what to do. I'm going to mark all of my horizontal changes in one color and my vertical changes in another. That way I can easily distinguish and make my choice on what to do next. Okay, so green is my vertical change. Okay, I will also decide which way my graphs are going to go just so that I don't forget about my negative if I have one. This one's going to go like this. This one, uh oh, I have a negative, so it's going to go like this somehow, okay? This one is going to go like this somehow because my A is positive. That's just my expectation. Now I'm going to put the points write them down from here, I'm going to copy it because I need the X value and I need my Y value. You can set it up differently if it makes more sense to you. Now, my horizontal changes are to be applied. I'll do the opposite of what it looks like. So that's one minus eight. That takes me to negative seven, comma. Now I'm going to do times 4, 1 times 4 is 4, minus 2 is 2. So if I put my two equations into the calculator, which obviously is your parent function, x cubed, and your actual example that is given like this, you put it in the calculator, you must be able to find your suggested point in your table. So this one better be there. Okay. Now the next one. I'm going to copy my x value and y value again. Okay, you got it. x value, y value. The given point is different, so I'm going to be careful to make sure I'm actually using what they tell me. Now, my horizontal changes, the opposite of what it looks like, that takes me to 6, just like it did here. Okay, that's what caused it. Now, comma, now I'm going to do my vertical changes. What's happening? Oh, oh, I'm multiplying by a negative number. And the number is less than 1 but greater than 0. That's a compression this time. The first example was a stretch, vertical stretch, versus now a vertical compression. 27 times negative 1 third. That's negative 9. Plus 2 is negative 7. All right, guys, that's the new point. Uh, oops, and it better be in the table when you look for it. Now, the last one. Um, I can tell that it's going to be a vertical what? Stretch or compression? What do you think? Stretch or compression? Compression, you're right, x, y, I'm supposed to use 2, 8, I'm going to do what it says for my x, but it's opposite, and it looks like I get negative 10, and what do I do for my y change? My vertical stuff affects the y, so I'm going to do times 1 fourth, because that's the factor of my compression. Uh, 8 times 1 fourth is 2 minus 5. So unless we messed up, that should be that. Again, use the calculator to at least see if you end up with the same values in the table. It's quite interesting to see. 
Good job, guys. Reach out if you have any questions.